451 Research, Industrial AI, Driving Efficiency and Safety, sponsored by Microsoft. My name is Ian Hughes, and I'm a Senior Research Analyst at 451 Research, now part of S&P Global Market Intelligence. I cover industrial IoT, augmented reality, and virtual reality. S&P Global Market Intelligence, how does AI support plant operations? Once trained, an AI model can be deployed in a plant, and its job is to improve the efficiency of that plant, the overall equipment effectiveness of the entire environment. And it does that by looking at all the various variables that are around that process in a volume and at a speed that we simply can't do as people. And it's able to actively suggest improvements that are gonna make a big difference to what that manufacturing plant can do. How can AI promote safety in plants? Just as an AI model can be used to find the optimal operation for a plant, it can also be used to find those extremes, those dangers to a process. It can look at many different permutations, what could go wrong if a pressure changed, if there was a temperature variation, if the quality of product coming in changed, and therefore it can explore and mitigate for some of those potentially dangerous situations and warn against them before they even happen. How does AI impact other industrial processes? As AI is there to improve the process and look for safety implications in that process, it can also then be applied to find innovative new ways of using that process and using that plant. So a plant may be making one particular product one particular way, but now engineers and product designers can use the AI knowledge to help see whether the, the plants that they have and the, the operations they have would be able to do some new products some things that maybe haven't been built before. And the AIs can help curate and navigate through that innovation process. Can AI run the processes alone? We shouldn't look at AI as a device or a thing that specifically needs to be trusted as such. It's a, it's a piece of software, it's a model, it's been trained to do things and to find certain outcomes. And in doing that, it's important that we understand why it made the decision. How did it come to this reasoning? Because it may be that it needs adjustment and a little bit of extra training or some more data fees to try and get it to go the right direction. And so it's very important that we, we stick to that old adage in, in software of garbage in, garbage out. We need to make sure we're feeding AIs with the correct information and not sent, setting them on different biases that maybe we don't want them to be, and equally keep track on what they're doing and make continuous improvements because that's the way we get the best result out of the AI in the plant. Essential Insight for Leaders of the Digital Economy, 451research.com, sponsored by Microsoft.